السلام عليكم ورحمة الله لعل برنامج تبادل الخبرات في مجالي العلم والتكنولوجيا ستاب ضمن مؤسسة المصطفى للعلوم والتكنولوجيا خطوة رائدة وحيوية إذ يشارك في البرنامج الأشخاص البارزون والناشطون في مجال العلوم والتكنولوجيا مثل العلماء البارزين ورؤساء الجامعات والمنظمات الداعمة في تطوير العلوم والتكنولوجيا والنشطاء في مجالات الخطابة وصنع السياسات يتبادل المشاركون في البرنامج معارفهم وخبراتهم ويناقشون في الوقت عينه تكوين تعاون علمي لقضايا مهمة في العالم الإسلامي وتعد لقاءات ستب وجلسات الحوار والنقاش وورش العمل المهنية وتقديم المقالات والملصقات من الأنشطة الرئيسية للبرنامج الدكتور فريد العالم أستاذ الطب المتخصص في الغدد الصماء في جامعة بنجلاديش للعلوم الصحية في دكة والأستاذة سيلينا بارفين رئيسة جامعة دكة عالمة الرياضيات والباحثة البارزة شاركا في اجتماعات ستاب 2021 يطيب لنا أن ننطلق معهما في حوار خاص من الداخل العقول الجميلة معكم زينب صفار تابعونا We are so honored Fine. sir and Mrs. Yeah. Pervin yes it's a great pleasure to have you Ma'am uh, we are here today with the MS TF uh, Mustafa Science and Technology Foundation and you have participated in the STEP Science and Technology Exchange Program workshops. First of all, I would like you to walk me through your expertise and career path perhaps in mathematics. Why did you choose to become a mathematician? Thank you for your question. Uh, I have, uh, it was my very, uh, I like mathematics very much and I have done my EMS and graduation in mathematics and then I have uh, done my PhD, also MS from University of Manchester, England and uh, I was supposed to do some research and to help some students and I have worked on a topic, say numerical solution of partial differential equation. I have done uh, MS in numerical analysis and computing. It is a very Im an important sub subject. It can be applied everywhere, and everybody who are in who is interested in research need to uh, learn numerical analysis and computing. And I have done work on that. And uh, after that, uh, I'm working in university, and I have so many uh, students, and they are working. Uh, better than me and uh, some of um, um, there are about 15 or 20 students all around the world they are working in america england canada mm -hmm. tokyo mm -hmm. they are working so they are very, very accomplished very, yes better than me and uh, this is very important is that you have instilled in them this passion for uh, mathematics and this is a very important thing uh, i will come to ask you more about the status particularly of women in bangladesh in the fields of sciences and uh, mathematics but allow me to ask you sir you have a different uh, passion which is towards medicine okay highlight please your fond longing for science and not just experimenting the science but also passing it through to others to the next generation teaching students uh, actually the science begins with the stars of this universe uh, everything is go with science nothing happens uh, miraculously. what I say the, the uh, air blows because of the change of pressure and temperature. The human being run after food and drinks to survive because the internal organs need oxygen, oxygen, then uh, glucose to uh, make energy. And energy is the things by which everything is running. So science is number one so we have to practice it and the medicine uh, you know our life uh, is in turmoil starting from inception of our life to the death is there are always changing many things and there is 
adverse situation uh, in everywhere. So the body is to adapt with them, but sometimes body cannot, so they are in disease. So for the prevention of the disease, to make your health, you know that health is wealth, number one things in your sure. life. If Particularly health, these days, yes. Dead. So to maintain health, uh, uh, we have to uh, have uh, the knowledge how to maintain health, how to cure the disease. Mm -hmm. And I, I, am, I am very honored and I think I am doing the right job for the human being for the better life, sure. better health. Always, sir. Now, uh, STEP, as we said, the Science and Technology Exchange Program, and you have participated mm -hmm. in many mm -hmm. STEP sessions, particularly one on COVID-19, uh, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. is a platform organized by Mustafa, peace be upon him and his family, Science and Technology Foundation, to expand the scientific network among us, uh, uh, science and technology international actors of the Islamic world in form of holding international events and laying the groundwork for enhancing scientific synergy and cooperation. Let's try together to dissect the aims of STEP and have your in-depth opinion regarding these aims. The number one which is providing a context for sharing and debating ideas and encouraging interaction among prominent scientists and young elites. In the sense, sir, what's your opinion concerning this first particular aim? Yeah, the, the, it is very important. And what have you contributed in this yeah, regard? Th uh, this is very important to exchange the knowledge. You know, uh, the knowledge is generated. Mm -hmm. So there are many knowledge in the world, but there is the old knowledge. You have to generate new knowledge mm -hmm. so that you can uh, create something uh, and the, uh, the, uh, it, I'm sorry to say that in the Muslim world we are in backward position and what we are doing in piecemeal in different places we, are, we have no any communication the most of foundation and STF has done the right job to make a platform to communicate among the Muslim scientists mm -hmm. and we, uh, we can take and we can contribute so uh, that's a very good platform and as, for exchange uh, as a scientist of Bangladesh Bangladesh is uh, doing not very good but they're trying mm -hmm. because Bangladesh was uh, you know they are under British colonialism for 2000 years then the Pakistan was another mm -hmm. we are under Pakistani colonialism for another 30 years mm -hmm. so our people is very much oppressed and their science and technology Another thing was oil behind to mm -hmm. other countries. Mm -hmm. So now, and our after, but now after, perhaps you are more on the uh, yeah, in better the track, track. And our government is investing a lot of money for uh, development of science and technology, mm -hmm. which is the basis for development in any country. So our scientists are doing oil, and they can also contribute in the uh, 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 development other scientists, uh, uh, other countries. So mm -hmm. this communication, I think is uh, a networking will make us uh, will, will take us in progress of science exactly sir uh, allow me to ask you uh, dr Perveen, that forming effective platforms for sharing scientific and technological capacities and capabilities to solve islamic world's uh, problems what's your opinion concerning this particular aim about trying to find solution to certain problems depending on the capabilities of each other. Thank you for the question. Uh, you know, you, 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 you'll talk before you'll ask about uh, female students. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, you know, in my university, uh, I have uh, so many uh, female students. They're very much genius, very much smart, and they're very, very uh, good students. And so, so many female students are uh, doing PhD in abroad. You say America, England, uh, Tokyo, uh, German, Canada, and uh, they are uh, doing very good jobs. And also uh, male students. And yesterday I visited the University of Medical Sciences. Uh, I I heard about 65% of female students there, and yes. there and I have. Uh, uh, Ma'am, is there a policy? 
in the country, in Bangladesh, for supporting science, technology, uh, physics, uh, mathematics, uh, students, uh, female students, to go into this direction? Yeah, yes, it's, it's, it's very easy for them and almost they're in forward. Better, uh, they, better they, than the, better the other than male, the students. male students because mm. they are serious mm -hmm. and they are very serious mm -hmm. and uh, they are doing very good in the uh, uh, mathematics, mathematics, scientific studies, also in physics, chemistry, in uh, microbiology. Mm -hmm. They are doing very in computer science. Yeah, can I, uh, 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 and we have uh, a very good example, Dr. Yeah. Selina Parveen. She's <laughs> one of the most prominent, no, I, accomplished. No, no, ladies. I say that they are doing better than me. I'm not okay. like them. They yes. are very uh, smart. Uh, 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 I'd I like to one thing, add one thing. Please. The, you know, in our country, the Prime Minister is a lady. That's very the good. The Speaker True. of the country is a lady. Mm -hmm. Leader of the opposition is a lady. Mm -hmm. And the lady parliamentarian. Mm -hmm. a, a, and the teacher, if you go to the uh, universities or uh, medical college, you'll see in the uh, so in universities, it is about uh, half of half. So are, it's are the more about competency, not gender issues. No, no, no. No, that's, uh, uh, that, that's really so good. Allow me to stop now before we continue talking about the objectives of STEP. To stop now for a short break and then we will continue to talk about these particular issues related to the Science Technology Exchange Program. But after the break, إذن فاصل قصير ونعود لا تذهب بعيدا. لعل أحد أبرز أهداف برنامج تبادل الخبرات العلمية والتكنولوجية STEP هو نشر معلومات عن طاقات العالم الإسلامي وقدراته وإنجازاته في الحقل العلمي دكتور فريد العالم نائب رئيس جامعة بنجلادش للعلوم الصحية في دكة وأستاذ الطب المتخصص في الغدة الدرقية والغدد الصماء وإبان حضوره لاجتماعات STEP ما الذي لفته بشكل خاص؟ Not only the exchange of ideas, but exchange of the technology, that is the innovation. Some there are some doctors or engineer or scientists that innovated something, but they cannot introduce it to the market because you are you are a singer. You sing in the bathroom. It has no value. Mm -hmm. When you sing in the stage and somebody knows that you are singing, so they even become singer. Mm -hmm. So scientists are doing something in the laboratory. It cannot come into the market. It can, cannot be used by other. Then it has no value. So to commercialize. It's commercialize, mm -hmm. utilization. So the STEP uh, side organization, um, uh, other uh, things they are doing, like arson, then uh, Simbu, all this uh, 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 organization associated with the state, they are trying to uh, marketize the innovative things, the uh, taking to the light. Mm -hmm. That is very important, I think. That this is the step uh, uh, to be taken by the state. Exactly. So that our people, scientists, and our work will be benefited, and the world they will have the position. Yes. Um, in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic, millions, as we said, were affected and more than 2 million people around the globe were decimated. However, uh, the pandemic is not yet over. Despite the outsized dangers of the microscopic, this microscopic enemy, getting the masses to adhere to health and safety protocols has been a public health conundrum around the world, not just in Bangladesh, mm -hmm. perhaps, but around the world, with massive social and political ramifications. How is the situation so far in Bangladesh? Yeah, Bangladesh uh, is too big like other country. You know, that uh, the way after the, in China, it is spread in Bangladesh, but uh, uh, the death rate was not so high. The government tried to control it. The mm -hmm. total uh, death is about 27,000. Mm -hmm. that is in comparison to other countries it is very little then uh, government has to uh, make the, all the hospital the covid hospital they try to immunize them they uh, 
the public health uh, uh, authority has uh, massive uh, propaganda among the people to wear masks mm -hmm. to so, to make distancing the school college was shut down officials online so the major uh, was in good but the second time what is called the delta variant which was originated the, the wave in, yeah yes, the was other originated in india that india is, is uh, on the borders not only border the 90 uh, about 75 percent of the border is circumvented by, by india, by india. Mm -hmm. so uh, it is very easy with because the people are coming uh, not only by the air they are coming through the border exactly the land border, true. so it, it was started uh, but uh, we have controlled that mm -hmm. and recently the uh, uh, about uh, three weeks it is below two percent mm -hmm. detection rate and death come down to three or four per day mm -hmm. or five seven so government has done tremendous job our doctor community has given life mm -hmm. uh, about 200 doctors died because of the coronavirus. Yeah, we have lost are the, lots of they're the first fighters front fighters so the front liners yeah, of course yeah. to confront this uh, uh, pandemic uh, dr selena uh, perhaps you're not a medical doctor but also you are a professor at the faculty of uh, sciences and mathematics how did you deal with the situation of the COVID regarding your students and yeah, faculty yeah, members? Yeah. Uh, thank you for your question. You know, uh, there are uh, the, the, everybody is using mathematics. Sure. For uh, uh, you cannot see, but there is applications of mathematics. And yesterday, I have seen some the terms uh, of mathematical terms, and we have a seminar at, uh, on uh, last uh, in uh, before and somebody joined from Canada, he is working in, on COVID, and um, there is uh, one um, female student, he is uh, working in, with, related to COVID, this biomedical physics, you know, biomedical physics, and how can we can uh, measure, how we can control this. It is a bit uh, tough, but they are trying to help something, they, they to, de way. to develop algorithms, how we can, uh, help to control the uh, COVID and how we can help them. And uh, there, there were, were so many works are going on. And I have uh, three or more uh, stuff. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Allow me to take you now uh, to a different, to shift some gears, uh, Dr. Selina. Dr. Farid Al Alam, of course, your husband. Uh, he's uh, a scientist, he has lots of work and research and studies and you are also yourself, you are so busy with research and mathematics and students. Um, how often do you come together? And when you're not researching and working, what do you do? <laughs> we are always together. You're always yeah, together. Yeah. That's good. And I have <laughs> but you, you are at two different universities, uh, no, right? It's, it's very close. Very close. It's very close. Good. And you know, I, here uh, this time uh, uh, I I came with uh, uh, him uh, to visit. Mm -hmm. But uh, like this, I have visited so many places. He he went to give in a meeting in conference. Mm -hmm. so, yes. And I, I I am always with. People. You're always escorting always, him. Uh, except him times. Yes. Uh, okay. I like to I like to share it. No. Uh, when when she went to Manchester, mm -hmm. uh, then our uh, we are very young. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, Back then, uh, uh, that in, was in nineteen hundred. Mentioned the year nineteen eighty four. Yes, we don't want to go into uh, years uh, and numbers. That, that we have got a little child at that time. Oh. So. I went with her in Manchester and I spent mm -hmm. life in Manchester. Mm -hmm. and then I came, I only six months I was in America mm -hmm. when I was in, uh, uh, not together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I may be t uh, alone for one week, or two weeks or three weeks in mm -hmm. other countries. But mostly we, we are together and yes. we are supporting us either. And I, I will say that <laughs> she supported me in my, in my career building. All the way, starting from mm -hmm. starting mm -hmm. up to this show, mm -hmm. she is doing. The also, in, in our, my country, I always with mm -hmm. him, and he always with you. you. Yes, in, everywhere. And this is very supportive and, for each other. This yeah. is a yeah. very big lesson for those people who think that well, if I'm too busy, then I don't have time for my family. No, you can always be the rock for each other. Uh, we think family first. 
you think family first, of course, bless you. Family comes first always. Now, um, Dr. Farid al what's your message to the youth, to the young researchers? Uh, my message is to fix target, mm -hmm. what you like to do, mm -hmm. and proceed with honesty mm -hmm. and devotion. Yes. If you go with honesty and devotion, you will be in success. Mm -hmm. This is uh, for the young scientists. And they should have the patriotism, which is very important, mm -hmm. and love to the people of the country. Exactly. Not only the country or their Muslims, if he is a Muslim, mm -hmm. he will feel for the Muslim, whether she is a Nigerian and Somalian or uh, a Lebanian mm -hmm. or a Turkish. Or yes. Indian, whatever. No, this does not stop. This shouldn't be the barrier. What about you, Dr. Selina? Uh, what's your message to the young women uh, students and researchers? Yes, uh, yeah, they're very. Uh, I always used to say to uh, work regularly, to read regularly, to attend the classes, and mm -hmm. do their jobs punctually. Mm -hmm. And they uh, they used to do that, mm -hmm. and they're doing very well. Excellent. In my country, very. Uh, some of them are doing very excellent works. Excellent, excellent. I, I say excellent. Yes. Some of them. Some of but them not are. Works, not yeah. Them. Inshallah. Hopefully. Yes, hopefully, hopefully more will, yes, will do excellently. Doctor yes, yeah. uh, uh, Feridul Alam, my last question for you, sir. So, what do you think would be the next forthcoming cutting edge breakthrough in science? Well. That will be the in in uh, I I can say in the medical mm -hmm. uh, that's the biotechnology 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 mm -hmm. not only medical science it will be in all li on on perhaps. life science mm -hmm. the biotechnology nanotechnology will be used in biotechnology mm -hmm. but whatever the sciences for human being the biotechnology mm -hmm. biotechnology will make you better and your life will be better right. Thank you. <coughs> Distinguished scientist Dr. Faridul Alam and Professor Selina Praveen from Bangladesh, thank you very much for your piercing perspectives. Thank you very much. Thank also. you, you and all the audience of your country or whatever the country or places they attend. Mm -hmm. you, you live peacefully, you take care of your neighbors. Sure, sure. And be, be patient, be tolerant to other religion and other other people whatever the color greet thank you thank you for your message sir and uh, thank you always for joining us for this mina dakhil special beautiful minds Always a pleasure to have you. وشكرا لكم مشاهدين الكرام على طيب المتابعة للتفاعل أكثر تابعونا على صفحات السوشيال ميديا من كل فريق عمل من الداخل من كل الميادين من طهران. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله.